Okay, guys. Today is Thanksgiving Day. It's Thursday. And I'm about to get us some breakfast at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We slept in. And then I got up and I filmed a video and made sure my other one... Can you turn on? No? I pushed the right button. Anyway, filmed a video and got my, made sure my other one was ready to go. And Noah's up now. Jeff is getting up. And we went to bed really late. And so, yeah, I'm about to cook breakfast. And then I'm going to get to the turkey cooking. I don't have a lot that I have to cook today. Because we're not doing a lot of things. But that's what's happening. I'm also going to empty the dishwasher. And I've got some clothes to fold. Because I did go ahead and wash that load of clothes. Like I was talking about yesterday. And Noah threw it in the dryer last night in the middle of the night. So yeah, anyway, let's get some breakfast cooked. Okay, I'm going to get started with some of those freezer biscuits that I had done the other day. I've got my oven preheating to 500. And I will have to cook these for a few extra minutes because they're frozen. Which it was like 10 minutes normally. So I'm going to, I guesstimated 12 minutes. We'll see. Um, and see, they just come apart. They're, they're all just coming apart. Now, like I said, I should have made these thicker. So these are going to be some thin biscuits. <laughs> some of them are anyway, but that's all right too. We don't mind. They're an experiment and I'm going to cook. No, I'm not going to cook extra. I am cooking extra, but not a lot extra. So I'm going to let that get to temperature. I got stuff all over that with that. But I'm going to let that get to temperature and then I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm not going to do it until they get it gets to the right temperature. What in the world? Okay. Move that to the back. All right, another thing I'm going to do is make some freezer sausage. <laughs> It's some that's I didn't do. I like that the bag is resealable, but it's kind of hard to get them out. And these right here are really good. And if they have them on, let me get this so you can see it. If they have them on sale at Noah's job again, I will be getting them again. That's where I bought them at Publix. But these are the best frozen sausage patties I've ever had. They are so good. So I'm going to have those cooking up. Okay, the biscuits are in the oven. i got about five minutes left. The sausage is over here. The grits are in the microwave. And now I'm going to do the eggs. And... I'm just going to fry them. in the same pan that the sausage was in but I had turned it down and I forgot that I didn't turn it back up so they're frying slowly add some salt and pepper and Jeffrey's making tea or made tea and getting some more ready. We'll turn on my light. 
that so I can see what the biscuits look like. Well, they're looking good. Egg. Well, that one's a little crazy. Oh, well. I think the Jeffrey may be getting the turkey now, but I'm not sure. I got the uh, dishes done. Noah folded the clothes and put those away. And I emptied the dishwasher and reloaded it, but it wasn't much. It was just a cup and a butter knife and a cat bowl. So, not much. So, I got that put back. And, um, I did do these for 10 minutes, the biscuits, because I wasn't sure like they had sat out for a few minutes but I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to let them go a little bit longer I'm not sure if that's completely done no one likes his completely done oh goodness there's Noah's Jeff wants three eggs. Nope, two eggs. No one of three. Salt and pepper on his. I have a strong feeling that these are not going to be ready. Yep. Nope. No. Let's see. No. No. They're, uh, I'm just going to turn it off and let them hang out. I had put butter on them the first time. I don't know if I'm going to do that today. Let people do it at the table if they want to. Put it in the dishwasher? Yes, please. And also, after you get done washing your hands, can you check the grits? Because we got to add the cheese. Whenever they're done. Yeah, I turn them on. Are they that raw? They're not, I mean, that whatever, uncooked. They're soup. Okay. 
Well, I didn't turn them on for long. I probably didn't turn them on long enough. Alright, there's Jeffrey's eggs. And I'll show y'all what we have whenever we're done, I guess. I'll show you what the biscuits look like after being frozen and then cooked. But this is the sausage and egg. Y'all can see that part. I don't eat eggs, so. I need to get the biscuits out, though. You don't do that. You're making so much noise. Do you want me to put butter on these or no? My voice keeps doing that weird thing because I've got whatever it's called. I can't even think. Mucus. It's disgusting. We're talking about that while we're fixing it have food. Alright, he said no butter. So there's the biscuits. There's a shadow. I thought you did. Said it don't matter. It don't matter. Well, that means no butter to me. That means less work for me. <laughs> All right, so here's the biscuits and Noah's eggs, the sausage, and Jeff's eggs. My plate is under Jeff's plate, and um, the grits are still in the microwave. So. I'm not going to show y'all those, but anyways, I might. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so there's the cheesy grits. Nice and cheesy. I just put cheddar cheese in there. Okay, so Jeff has gotten the turkey and my roasting pan, and then in this, I've got some butter that I was trying to soften, but um, it melted, but we don't care. I'm going to be using this to, I guess, baste the turkey. I'm going to show you how I always do it. I may not have enough butter here, though. may have to get another stick. So I got the other stick in here, and I'm going to have to probably soften it some, but not as much as I did the other one. Because I'm going to mix some Lowry seasoned salt and black pepper in this. And that's the only thing I season my turkey with. That's what I've seasoned it with for how many years, Jeffrey? Uh, let's see. How long have you no, I haven't always done it like this, though. Uh, well, how long we been cooking it? About a couple years. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a good idea. I gotta put this in here to soften it. So. Fifteen. Fifteen years. You think? No, way more than that. I don't know. How long ago was fifteen years? Five years before we moved here. I was doing it before then, wasn't I? Anyway, it doesn't matter how long we've been doing it. A long time. The way I've been doing it like this. They're still not soft enough, but some of it's too melted. So it'll be alright. But anyway, this never works out where it's pretty anyways. And I don't have any exact measurements, which that was about a cup of butter. And this time I use, I'm using salted butter because I have it. I have used margarine, which is easier in some ways because you don't have to soften it or anything like that. 
All right, and now I'm just gonna put seasoned salt in there. And I grabbed my, I got Jeff to get my big one out because um, this is what I use. I got him to get that out because of the fact of having to use so much. And now I'm just gonna do some pepper in there. Probably should have just used the regular pepper, the already ground pepper. gonna mix those three things together and that's all I do it looks really gross smells good though it smells mostly like pepper it's buttery salty pepper that's what it looks it's a little lumpier than I want but that'll be alright I'll get that situated so now, I'm going to put a little bit of this in the bottom of the pan. Just I'm going to smear it around in there. I don't know why I do it. Because I don't have a purpose. Do you have a purpose of why I do this, Jeffrey? So it won't stick? <laughs> All right, and now I'm going to get Jeff to put the turkey in here for me. And we're, we're hoping it fits. We hope it fits every year. We don't know if it's going to fit or not. But after he gets it in there, I'll show you what I'm doing next. Okay, so he's a little large for this. And he's also, whenever he was frozen, he, he kind of was on his side because he thought it was a gangster or something. And so, um, he won't sit up straight, so I'm just going to have to make him. He is too big for my pan, but it's the biggest pan we have. Noah, can you put the seasoned salt back, baby? But I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then, after I'm done, I guess we're just going to have to use foil. So, I just get me a big handful of this, and... I go under the skin. I usually loosen the skin before I do that. I'm getting ahead of myself. But I loosen the skin and this one is one with a little popper thing. So I try to make sure that I don't mess with it. Which we have been still checking it with a meat thermometer anyway. But I just put that butter and seasoning all up under the skin on the top of it on the breast everywhere I can get it and it gets all over my hands it gets all over the place but I don't care well not all over I don't it doesn't get like all over the kitchen but it gets all over me. So after I have some in that skin, I just put it all over the top of it. And I just massage it in. That's a little piece that's got. Do we want to tie the legs? I know we don't normally tie the legs. Can you grab the big foil? We don't worry about the bottom of the turkey as much because all of this that I'm putting on the top will eventually just melt down in there anyway and all the juices and all the broth and all that stuff. You got the big one? Yeah. And we have the oven preheated to 325. 
and it said to cook this one this size for four was it four four and a half hours all right like four and a half hours but we check it anyway I'm beginning to wonder if I have more salt this time because it feels a little bit grittier than normal You sure you don't want to tie the legs? Because he'd sit in there better if he did. Maybe. I don't know. You could just cover. Alright, Jeff's going to cover it with the foil, right? Are you going to cover it with the foil? While I try to defunkify my hand. Okay, so he put the foil on it. And now he's going to put it in the oven. The other thing he did is move the rack in the oven. So now I'm going to clean up all this area. No, I don't think so. I think it's fine. I'm going to clean up all this area where the, the turkey stuff was. And I'll be back whenever I'm doing something to do with Thanksgiving. Okay, so we're putting up the tree. And I'm also washing some clothes because of... Um, they were on the couch and I wanted to wash the blankets. Anyway, I have peeled some potatoes here. And I'm going to cut them up and put them in my little instant pot for some ranch mashed potatoes. And Jeff just went and got the dressing out of the refrigerator. And I'm going to put it in the oven. The turkey is done. So that's what's happening now. So I'm going to get this in the oven. Get those cut up and into that with a little water. One cup at least. And I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know when. It's been a while since I've seen y'all. But uh, the turkey took longer than it was supposed to. Like two hours longer. Next time I'll cook it. Not per their instructions. I'll cook it the way I normally do. Because I went by the packaging. And the temperature was less than what I normally do. But two hours longer? I don't like it. Anyway, we're not on a time, like, certain schedule, so it's fine. But I'm going to go for a few minutes so we can turn our... Oh, our Christmas music is about over, that fireplace one. And he's also got our little musical lights up. Oh, I thought we were going to see if we could fix that strand. It's okay. We say that every year. It's been broken for about three years. There's one strand on those that does not light up. We have had that strand of lights that plays music for how many years? 24? 23, 24 years? I don't know, maybe longer than that. Uh, no, longer than that, because Noah's 24. So, 25, 26 years, and they're still going, it's just that one strand. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so, I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm sitting here talking to myself. I'm making deviled eggs. Nobody ever taught me how to make deviled eggs, so I went by what Jeff said was in them because he, well, now Noah eats them, but he was the only one that ate them in the beginning, and so I just made them for him. I don't like them, so I don't eat them. Don't know why I don't like them, I just don't because I like potato salad and all the same stuff is in them um except of course well similar things anyway but anyways he likes them so i made them for him for years and now noah eats them so i've got six eggs here that i'm cutting in half and putting the yolk in this and putting the other part on a plate and I'm not getting fancy. I'm not doing any special stuff like trying to put them in a special dish or anything like that. Because it's just here at home. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to wash my hands real quick to get some of that egg off. Alright, so I'm going to put in 
some mayonnaise. This is Duke's. Because that's what Jeff likes. A little bit of mustard, yellow mustard. Well, Jeff likes different kinds of mayonnaise, but anyway, then uh, a little bit of sweet relish. Might be too much. I don't know. I'm going to let Jeff taste it before I actually put it in the eggs. A little pepper, or a lot of pepper because Jeff likes pepper. And some salt. Is that all I need to put in there? Those things. There's bread in it. All right, so I'm going to mash this all together. I'm going to mash up those eggs that or the the yolks. And sometimes I will take and just get like a Ziploc bag and use that to um, put it in the egg, the whites, back into the whites of it, but I'm not going to do that today because, like I said, I'm not trying to be fancy. Did you hear me say I was going to let you taste this or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> have a recipe I just go by whatever wait I don't want to use that because that's what I gotta use for that part need anything okay he said it does not need anything so now I'm just gonna take my little spoon his tiny spoon I'm just gonna put a little bit in each one and that's it I could put paprika on it, but like I said, not fancy. I don't think Jeff likes paprika on it. Do you like paprika on it? Mm -hmm. You do? Do you want paprika on it? Well, if you want it, it's not a problem. It's not hard to do. You just got to choose. Do you want smoked paprika or I think, uh, well, I've got different kinds in there. He's going to get paprika. So we are getting fancy. Not super fancy, but a little bit. And I think everybody has their own way of doing these. Well, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people have their own way. What am I doing? That's not what I wanted to clean off. I want to clean the fork off. I'm going to give it to Jeff. Let him lick the spoon, so to speak. I always like to have the little silicone spatulas to get everything out. Are you finding it? You can lick that fork if you want to. Which one did you pick? That's what I figured. What, there's the eggs by themselves? Mm -hmm. They're in the refrigerator. Because I just stuck them back in there. Somehow I have gotten too much somewhere. Because I still have an egg here. Yeah, I got a little much in that one. I'll share it with the other. But I'm going to get all this out first. That's why I normally do it with like a um, a baggie because I end up, well no, that's all right. Perfect. Perfect. I mean that one does still have a lot in it, but it'll be all right. I got a mess. All right, so we are being fancy. No, 
Not on all of them. I'm using this. It's not focusing. Spanish, Spanish uh, paprika. It's smoked. So you don't want it on all of them? I'll put it on six then. It's not coming out. Oh. Well, there you go. That enough? Yeah. Okay. What is that face for? Hmm? What was that face? Yeah, Do you want to try it on camera? I won't. <laughs> You're <laughs> devil eggs. <laughs> Alright, so I just confused Jeff asking did he want to try it on camera. He's like, try what? <laughs> he already knows what they taste like. It's not a new recipe, but there's the deviled eggs. No, it's not fancy, but that's all right. It's homemade. Okay, so I'm about to do loaded green beans. I've shown y'all these before. Um, I'm trying to find a tomato I want that's the right size. Noah is about to fold clothes um, because... Um, I've been washing clothes. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The potatoes are done. I've got to drain them and I'm going to make them in the pot. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But first I'm going to make the loaded green beans. And then I'll come back to the pot. This happened before I could get it in the refrigerator. Actually, paprika ended up on all of them because Noah said that they were better that way. So I'm swapping plates. Okay. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and do the ranch. You don't have to show over here. <laughs> okay, the ranch mashed potatoes. Put a big chunk of butter in there, cause you need it. Um, and then I'm gonna put the ranch that I make, I'm gonna mix it up some. I always mix it up before you open it up. And I don't have a certain amount I'm putting in here just say a packet three tablespoons maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less I don't know to taste then I'm gonna put some milk always smell your milk make sure it's good I'm not gonna put any more milk in that right now because I don't know how much I'm gonna need and now I'm just gonna squish my butter in and I'm gonna mix it up in the instant pot I should have like uh, squish the butter in there a little bit more. I guess this would be more like ranch whipped potatoes instead of ranch mashed potatoes. You just mix it up until there's like very few lumps, which Jeff likes lumpy mashed potatoes, he said. <laughs> so, really, it's just until the butter is uh, melted and everything is incorporated. You want to be my taste tester again? Oh, man. What? Do what? Oh, because you were holding it up like that. Are you gonna see? Are you gonna, do you know when it's enough? Of what? Ranch. Yeah, when it tastes good. Well, but do you know? You don't. <laughs> How much longer are you gonna wait? Sorry. So that's good. I need a little salt. I'm gonna taste it because you you <laughs> eat a whole lot more salt than I do. You can add you some salt at the table. That might need a little salt. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that needs some salt. Yep, definitely needs some salt. I don't. Did I put salt in my ranch this last time? Which potatoes do need salt, and I think it needs a little bit more milk too. Now, if I had heavy whipping cream, I'd use that. And I would use my half and half, but that stuff's sacred right now. I only have a little bit. I shouldn't say it's sacred. That's not right. But 
I only have enough to make me some creamer and I need to make creamer day after tomorrow. And I'm not going, wait a minute, when are we going to the grocery store? Day after tomorrow. Hey, I can use that, it's too late now. Let me try it again. I gotta get another spoon. Sorry. That's good. You wanna lick the beaters like a like a little kid? No? Okay. Alright, I gotta clean up my mess now. Okay, so here's a load of green beans, but we do have them a little bit different this time. First of all, the tomatoes I had were growing. The seeds had sprouted. So instead of doing that, I have some sweet peppers in there with onion. That that I had used the other day and froze part of it, that's what I put in here instead of me cutting up another onion. And the other difference is I didn't have any of the shredded Parmesan cheese. So I put pepper jack, which we've never had on this before, and uh, the the crumbled, whatever you call it, the the kind of, what is it called no not bacon this this parmesan cheese the grated parmesan cheese that's what it's called i put that on there instead so we don't know if we're gonna like it or not so we'll find out and i'll let y'all know but it smells good and i'll be back whenever we get everything up here we're gonna serve from this area okay here's the turkey still chillaxing over there with his crazy sideways self but he's just hanging out in all the buttery goodness and um jeff's gonna carve him up there's the loaded green beans the new style we may like this better dressing chicken dressing the ranch mashed potatoes what in the world are you doing man the three eggs that are left the, the cranberry sauce and um we decided to take a couple of things off of our list the rolls and it seemed like something else um so anyway this is gonna feed us for a few days and whatever turkey is left we're probably the plan is to take part of this turkey and put it straight in the freezer um but uh the carcass and all i'm probably gonna make stock with anyway there's our thanksgiving meal for three it's a whole lot of food there okay so the green beans they were pretty good like that they were a little spicy but of course I did use pepper jack which pepper jack is one of my favorite cheeses um, I'm gonna go in here because there'll be light there won't be the Christmas music I don't want to turn it off because other people are enjoying it too um, flashbang yeah Jeff and Noah are in there but i'm going to be going in there in a minute but anyway the green beans were good that way too without the tomatoes they were good with the peppers uh it's hard to say which one i like better because i don't know jeff said he thinks he might like it better with the peppers so i may have that as an addition it's whatever you want that kind of thing but our dinner was good everybody's full no desserts have been eaten yet i showed you the desserts yesterday so i won't be showing those again but I want to tell you guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. I do hope you enjoyed it. It was different because today is different. And we're going to finish decorating the tree or trimming the tree, whichever one you want to say. And um, I'll show you all that tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't like it, do it anyway because you might like something I do later. I do all sorts of things on this channel. Also, most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. I'm doing okay. Wasn't my favorite day, but it, you know, it's one of those things I have to get used to. So, um, there's been some difficult times, but mostly it's been good. Jeff and Noah have kept me going, and I've kept them going. I hope. <laughs> you know, it's a it's a team effort for us three. So anyway. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.